in the same sales and marketing vein, to some people, sales is a potential curse word because they don't like the feeling of sales. They don't like being sold to. You get nervous if you have to go look for a car, all of these types of things. I We've titled this session Selling Through Listening, and it really hones in on how do you begin to ask good, strategic, thought-provoking questions and how do you begin to listen <laughs> to what your prospective buyer's needs are and stop trying to sell your canned, coined phrases and sales tactics and come with an actual solution that people want to buy? I think sales can lose the old kind of 1980s sleazy feel and come back to how do I help people win and solve problems? To me, that is what selling is actually about. I'm not selling me. I'm trying to sell a solution to help you. But the only way I know what solution will work for you is if I actually listen and ask questions to get to know what your pain points are and where your business is struggling. And so these topics and sessions on selling and figuring out how to begin to ask questions to draw your client out is going to help you listen in your professional life, in your personal life. Next time you do need to go buy a car, we're going to help you learn all of the tools to successfully sell because the reality is you are selling almost every minute of every day, something to someone. Tonight, I'm going to have to sell to my wife where I want to go out to dinner. And I'll use the same thought-provoking questions and drawing out that I'm going to use on my sales call to pitch my recruitment services to X client tomorrow. It's, it is transferable, but it starts with learning how to listen and ask good questions.